Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki Liam. Before we jump right into this video, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you can be notified every time. Excuse, Excuse, me. Excuse me, what are you doing here? This is my channel. <laughs> yes, I'm Nikki Liam. I no, I'm Nikki I'm, Liam. Okay, well then have a seat. <laughs> okay. So what are we doing today, Nikki? Well, Nikki, I am going to be teaching you today how to use a treadle sewing machine. This? 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 Treadle sewing machine? Treadle sewing machine friend right here. Hello, precious. She's a little bit different to use than modern sewing machines, but I know you have a lot of sewing experience already, so... I'm, I'm, I'm ready to add more to that experience. <laughs> Teach me the Victorian way. <laughs> That I can do. And I've heard that you have a very strong dislike to sew hand sewing on closures. That I do. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do it quick but secure. Okay. And hopefully you won't dread it as much anymore. I highly doubt that. But let's <laughs> see how we can get, let's see what we do. So, welcome to treadling. This is nothing like any sewing machine. It doesn't you have, have buttons. Used. No, no buttons, no on switch. <laughs> Where's my tension button? <laughs> this is your tension button. Oh, okay. Hello, but don't touch it. Oh. It should be okay. Um, so before we actually sew stuff, mm -hmm. what I've actually figured out, because I tried to teach Constance how to use this, and I realized I just threw her in this like without her understanding the machine, mm -hmm. but it helps first to just get a sense of how... The rhythm? Yeah, how the machine works, like the language that it speaks. <laughs> I'm gonna un... Yeah, are we, yeah. we're unthreaded. It's on thread. Yeah, cool. Um, so if you want to just... That is from the bottom. Yeah. Go ahead and start pressing the treadle thing. Do I go with just, one foot or two foot? Uh, one foot. I mean, some people do it with two, but... I might have not worn the best shoes for this because I got Yeah, it is easier heels. to do without shoes, but you can do it with shoes <laughs> okay. if you don't want to bother unlacing mm -hmm. your feet. <laughs> so one thing that you will notice, I don't know if you can get this started doing this. You always want this to be coming towards you. Okay. So sometimes, because it's not like, it can go forward and backward, and this can spin forward and backward, mm -hmm. but sometimes you haven't got it going in the right direction. Okay. Um, so you just want to make sure that it's going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you'll notice, I don't know if it's doing it right now, but you will press your foot on it as hard as you can and it's not going anywhere. Okay. That's because it is either all the way forward or all it's the way backwards and it can't and, like yeah. go and you will have to manually Fly just give it. this a fling with your hand. Okay. So I don't know. Can I just? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And it's already going in the right direction. Yep. But now it's not. <laughs> yeah. So okay. you see like there is a rhythm to it. Yeah. <laughs> Now it needs to go the other way. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that's how it changes direction mid. Yeah, if you put force on it. So it's going the wrong direction. Yep, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so what you'll see is you don't put your foot on it. You don't press forwards and backwards. You have to press and then let it just do its thing and only give it more momentum once it's running out. So you, but you need to give it one. Yeah. But now you'll notice that it's stuck in that backwards position now, so you need to give it a fling. Yep. Ah! No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> this is the hardest part. Once you've got this and you already know how to sew, you'll be fine. Yep. There you go. Yeah, so you see, rather than a pressing forwards and pressing backwards just, motion, you just rock with it. Once yeah, it, you have to get it going. You That's kind of really... almost just press it one way, like just press the back or just press the front, and just let it return oh. when it wants to. Yay! Okay, but now, now I'm just purely concentrating on this. But yeah. now I have to start concentrating yeah. on what's happening here. Exactly. So what I think, like, the best way to learn how to use a treadle is just to sit and, like, treadle with it for a couple of minutes and just get the feel for it. Yeah. The I faster you go, yeah, yeah, and just, like, <laughs> let your feet, like, obtain that muscle memory. But I think 
Um, I think in that time they all, they had multiple machines that were powered by threadle, so they, you know. Yeah, I mean, I've got a spinning wheel over there. That one's actually 19th century, but those spinning wheels have been around for hundreds yeah. of years, and they function with treadles as well. And uh, like, I, I think I've seen like a churning butter kind of thing, or like. Oh my god! Really? Thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. I mean, it was it wasn't in, in cinema, like in a film or a thing. A series, so I don't know. How oh, yes, yes. Okay, okay, fair. So we have to question that. <laughs> um, all right, are cool. we ready for the next step? I don't know. Do you feel like you're ready? I don't know. Am I ready? <laughs> <laughs> do do a little bit more treadling. Just okay. I want to see. Yep. No. No. <laughs> no. Go back. You can um, once you've got it going with a bit of momentum. Usually when you're going really slow is when it tends to sort of rock backwards. But if you go, you know, you mm. get it going rather quickly, like it will just keep going. Yep. All right, so that's yeah. the trick to just... Yeah. And it is a bit trickier to start it with your foot and stop it with your foot. Yeah. But if you, you know, if you just, from you're nothing, just give this a fling towards you and just get it going at speed, you shouldn't have to watch this and you can just focus on what you're doing. All right. Yeah. I think I'm gonna... I mean, you'll notice when it starts to go backwards because your thread will start mm -hmm. choking on itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you like... Yeah, but I think we need to thread yes. the needle. Yes. Has so it come all the way undone? It, it's in no, here? It's, yeah, it just needs to be put through the needle. And there's a hole here Oh, yeah, well. that should go through. You can just drag that on the side of it. You don't need to thread it through. You can just oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't open it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm doing it blind. <laughs> there you there go. There we go. And it goes from left to right. Uh, yes. There so this is now like a series of teaching. <laughs> Film <laughs> people have to use treadle machines. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna uh, teach us all yes. the ways of Miss Bernadette Van <laughs> <laughs> These things are amazing, though. Like everyone should know how to use them. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go single, single layer. Yeah, you can do however you like. Mm. Single, yeah, just to get a sense of how all it is. All the single layers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first you um, put your foot down. Yep. Yeah. Good. I'm so mine. My foot automatically goes down the moment I press my sewing foot. <laughs> oh my god, that's I've really confusing. Yeah. <laughs> Constance was like, because she's got a knee lift on oh, her yeah, industrial yeah. machine, so she was like, where is it? <laughs> yep. Nope. No. Uh, I don't want to break things. What do it's I fine. do now? Do I fly or just going to start again? Either way, with your foot or with your, with your hand is a little bit easier if okay. you want to just... So I don't want to... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't want to break it. I'm scared. You're not going to break the machine. Don't worry. She's been around for a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, have you met me? <laughs> As Melchior, I break things. <laughs> All right, we have to rethread. Do I? Have to yeah. Let me take this off first. Yes. Okay. Attempt number three. I think. I believe in you. All right, I'm gonna go like that. Or not? <laughs> There you go. Oh, no. Stop it. <laughs> I just don't dare to put my foot on it when I'm flying it. <laughs> well, that's a problem because you kind of need that to go. Why are you going backwards? No. Nope. Damn it. This is frustrating. Yeah, nope. So close, so I close. I hear the tap, it got undone again. Yeah. Do you want to give it like a little bit more just plain treadling? Yeah, maybe. Let's go back to, back to school. <laughs> <laughs> try, and, try and make it go as fast as you can make Do it I go. Do I leave the foot up? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> like give this a good, are you ready? Okay. Yep. No, because <laughs> oh, I'm so used to like... Yeah, you kind of have to get used to that motion. <laughs> oh, I've lost <laughs> it. 
<laughs> okay, try, so you're kind of parallel. Don't put your foot on it, mm -hmm. but just, I'm going to give this a really hard fling and just feel where it wants to go because it starts to flip the other way when you press it in, in the way that it's not naturally going. I'll just, just feel, feel where it wants to go. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yep. That's it. Yeah, but then the thing is that I have to start concentrating on that. <laughs> when I first got this treadle machine, I literally just sat here and treadled for like 20 minutes. And it got so relaxing that I was just on my phone. I was just like doing my thing and I was just, just, yeah, like, we're having a conversation. There's and stuff just... happening outside. Oh yeah, they're painting <laughs> the balconies. <laughs> but see, like now it's becoming completely mindless. Yeah. But, but that's because I'm in the momentum. Yeah, I'm in the, exactly. I'm in the rhythm. You but shouldn't have to think started. about it. And that's when it starts getting tricky, is when you have to start sewing actual, like, yeah. can delicate I just, Can I just now, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the foot's not down, it's gonna go all over. <laughs> There you go. We we can we can do this. Okay. Now you understand the the rhythm of it. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, there's a there's a difference between understanding the rhythm and getting the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I can't imagine like teaching someone how to use a treadle who has no sewing experience. Oh God. Then it's like teaching them how to use a sewing machine <laughs> and to do this difficult. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm gonna use that one. I would recommend, yeah. Okay. Yeah, using the hands. There you go. Oh. Nope. See, I started thinking. Don't think. <laughs> Don't think. <laughs> just, just feel. Yep, you no. got it. No, you got it. Good. Ah, <laughs> I, I want to press down when it's not supposed yeah. to. Yeah. There you go. I'm doing it. it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's a pretty straight line, if I say so myself. Yeah. Excellent. So now this is where the point where I press a button and it automatically. Uh, yep. Finishes off and cut the thread. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't do that, do you? No, <laughs> you've got to manually lift the needle out. Yeah, there you mm. go. For 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 future reference, don't try to 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 learn this when wearing heels. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think the the bare like not not necessarily barefoot, but the going shoes shoeless. Uh, yeah. And you have a better feeling. Plus, when you have the heel, it adds. Um, well, obviously it has height, but then because you have to, your foot goes into a, a, a weirder position when yeah. you, when it goes up or down in the front, I suppose. I don't dare to pull. You can pull it. It doesn't want to come. How about now? No. How about now? <laughs> How about now? No. No. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> Ta-da! I'm Yay. gonna frame this. Good. Can you sign it for me? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'll right. sign it, Nikki Liam. <laughs> yes. Can you sign this, please, with Nikki? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna do a giveaway. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. That was uh, a nice bit of um, rhythmic torture. Yes. Are you ready for closure? No. <laughs> Top line. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> All right. So we have a couple of different uh, closures that we can use, but I think I'm going to teach you how to do the skirt closure. This is, these are the ones that I mainly use for like bodice closures. Okay. 
And, Oops, because um, I've used those for skirts. Um, <laughs> you well, you can use them. them. No, you can use them. You can use whatever you want. But I, I like these because they are a little bit tighter close, uh, in closing. You get a, a snugger, uh, uh -huh. snugger fit. Well, these, those don't, they, they have room. Right, OK. So those have still a little bit of room. But because they are, um, the hook is wider, it won't as much, um, how do you say that? Rotate? Rotate or like dip. Ah, oh my god, that's so useful. Because sometimes if I, right, the, the skirt I'm wearing right now, I actually have two of these. So because I have two, it also won't dip. If you just okay. have one, it can start dipping. Okay. But oh, these I usually cool. wear for like petticoats and stuff and under skirts. Oh, that's so useful. Okay, I'm convinced on the skirt hooks now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now they're tangled up in each other. Oh no. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, do you have a piece of yes. fabric? Right. One layer, two. Um, I would say two. Okay. And depending how uh, um, how thick or thin your fabric is you can use an extra layer of cotton just as an extra support. Um, also depending on how much tension or how much weight is going to go on it. Um, so what I usually do is I, I do the hook first and make sure it's on the edge or in mm -hmm. the fold. And if you have your needle and thread, so you can use whatever uh, thread or needle you prefer. I usually use a heavy, more heavyweight one. Um, and I, I use a doubled. Oh, okay. Oh, so just, just is this not going to be long enough? Uh, yeah, that, no, that's long enough. That's oh, okay. Long. Yeah. Just thread it and then you tie a knot together. Oh, you knot it at the end? Yeah. Okay. Or if you, well, you can, if you prefer, like, this is just the way I do it. Oh, okay. I mean, there are more ways at least around. You do like the theatrical technique. Yes. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the theatrical tr technique is, or like, derived or originated yeah. from the historical techniques because it's they, they kept making things like that. Okay. So if you prefer to do it and finish it or start it off in a different way, then that's also fine. I'll knot this for you because this, <laughs> is, this is your method. <laughs> I usually, like, what I would do is I would start the thread, like, way over here mm -hmm. and then travel between the layers and then come up, like, here and mm -hmm. then just do a back stitch. Yeah. So what that happens is, is because there's a long piece of tension here, what you want, you want your, your hook to be uh, as snug as possible so there won't be any room to make it move. And if you yeah. have that there, then there's, t there's, there's room to, because it will be secured here. So there's- Oh, no, 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 I just, because I, there's no knot in the beginning. Oh, it just yeah. disappears, and Got I have it. the knot there, but that way there's no, like, because mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, I'm going to wait and see how you have me start this, but yeah. like that way there's no, like, knot. Yeah. Like there with this like annoying tail. Yeah, I understand. Okay. <laughs> I I know so you have tricks. I I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see your tricks. Well, uh, what I usually say is I'll I'll teach you how I do it, and then okay. you can make it your own. Okay. And then you can adjust it, tweak it, or just completely forget about it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever way you want. Sounds it. good. <laughs> um, sometimes I even go between and the like what yeah. you do, but and yeah. then, but still have the knot, and then have the the knot height between the two layers. Right. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Um, so depending if the the if, if the hook is showing on the other side, like for skirts with a waistband, I usually have something going over it, so it doesn't matter mm. if you see the stitches here, otherwise you, you, you can right. make sure that they're neat there. But I always start with sewing next to the hook here, and then go under and then sew, make a stitch there. And then oh go. I don't got that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can, what you can do, you can go between the layers if you want, or you can just start from the bottom. You could have to do that. And come up here? And just next to the... Yeah. Here? I don't know where you are. <laughs> there, yeah, yeah that's okay. fine. <laughs> All right, and then you go... <laughs> I'm <something> already <laughs> twisted, oh my god. <laughs> if you go underneath... Oh. Okay. No, 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 underneath the top one. Oh, here? There, yeah. And then go down. Oh. Yeah, well, oh. You, yeah. Go up, because then you just, that's easier to. Okay. And then you go straight down next to, on this side. Oh, okay, so this is just the front bit that holds the front down. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
So the, the trick I always say is... Oh my god. <laughs> It, so it really depends on how your what yarn you're using or, or what thread you're using and how much it twisted. Something that helps is when you're pulling it through is to put your finger on it, which detangles mm -hmm. it before you start pulling it. There you go. <sighs> Double buttonhole twist is just the worst <laughs> with twisting. Yeah. All right. So because we started between the layers, I would go one more extra. So go okay. straight up on, on the left side of the... Yeah. I've just okay. punctured that. Before thread. you go, put your finger on top where, you, where the, the thread's going through. And then pull it. That should help it to, with the twisting of it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you underestimate the power of <laughs> buttonhole twists. It's called buttonhole twist. Twist for a reason. <laughs> I usually put my finger through. Or the end loop. loop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll, that, that might help. See, now you understand why I hate closures. Well, maybe it might be the, <laughs> might be the thread that you're using, not the closures. <laughs> Mystery solved. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the trick okay. is with the, with sewing on closures is to, to sew straight down and up next to the hook or the eye or the bar, whatever you're sewing on, instead of scooping it from one side. Mm -hmm. Because if you're scooping, you're giving, there, it won't be as, um, as tight, and then there's space for it to move. Right. Well, well done. <laughs> Yay, we're done. No, 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 I said well done, and then say you were done. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the same on that side. Okay. But you can just do one. Okay, do I go through, pass through the you, layers? You can okay. if you want, yeah. Yeah, because I don't if, want, if you're like... Gonna, if, you're gonna go, if you're gonna pass to, uh, between the two layers, I should do two stitches on that side as well. Okay. Everything's fine. If you want, you can try a, a piece of my thread when we're doing the the, the, the loop. Oh my god, we have to do another one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do anything except this. <laughs> That'd be nice. I feel like you're just screaming inside right now. I'm screaming at the thread that we're using, though. Not at you. <laughs> All right. Okay, success. Yes. So you want to make sure that it's parallel with the edge. There we go. And then you want to go, you can either go between the layers again, and then go just above the loop right there, and then go across, and then on the other side as well, go across. Okay, so just like sewing on a hook. Well, we're not, okay. we're not done yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That wasn't close. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Just just go across the other side, but it should be so right in in that little uh, that little corner there, normally. Okay. There will just be a little dot of stitching right here. Okay. Oh, this slides. I see. Yeah. That's why I do the edge side first, because if you start at the bottom and it starts sliding and it's not lining mm. up anymore. So I always make sure I do the, the, edge, the edge side first so I make sure it lines up with the... That's very useful. I usually do the edges last and they always come out crooked. Okay, so now I just go down here? No, I'm no, no. between. Oh, I see. Next to. Yes. Basically what you did, um, here at the corner no. or here oh well you can you can do both you can or, or either i mean you can go all the way across to the other corner or you can do two stages at, at each of them maybe just go uh, to the uh, to across the other side in that same corner because we already have it secure gonna secure it anyway okay it's just whatever mood you're in that day <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm in an all the way across mood today apparently <laughs> <laughs> all right so now you're on that side. 
what you're going to do now is um, so normally with the when you use these you make a little uh, a star but you go constantly across from the other side but this one you won't have to need, do that as much but usually I start in the corner here and then I go across to that corner there to that corner that corner and then I finish up in the top oh, so that okay. way it has a oh uh -huh. it's spread out like this instead yeah. of going yeah okay because then it then because the, the, the tension will all be in the same direction right but for this one it's it, th that's fine if you just go like one stitch there and one stitch in the on the bottom and then here in the bottom and then one there because we already have the top one. Oh, I see okay but the trick yeah, the, like, well the trick um, is to do straight up and straight down yes yeah. close to the to the to so the shall hook. I come up in the center yeah okay but go don't go in the middle of the center Clo yeah go as close to the so I'm just putting a stitch here here put one on the bottom and put one on the side oh I see and then if you fancy you can do one uh, just like that from one one oh uh, yes I do fancy that that okay. looks nice that's satisfying <laughs> <laughs> to complete the collection yes it's a nice way to transfer over to this side mm-hmm So this is a lot quicker. Yeah, you don't need that. You don't need to have like a full round of stitches. That's what I used to do, and yeah. it would just take forever. Mm -hmm. That or like do the stupid buttonhole stitches all the way. <laughs> yeah, and because well, one they take up so much more time. Yeah, they take up more thread. Plus, they're not that secure. I Are find not? secure. Ah. Um, so it, it, it's 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 about the tension and how uh, tightly you sew. The, the hook, the bar, the eye, whatever it is you're sewing on. So it doesn't have room. Because uh, once it has room, it has it can move, and then mm. it can loosen up mm -hmm. more. And that's when things start to undo. Or um, it won't be, it won't have that tight closure, right. if you know what I mean. Okay. There you go. Wow. And then you can choose to uh, finish off either on this side or on the other side, and I just do a back three times a back stitch. Yeah, that's what I do too. Cool, cool, cool. Presumably, this is the side that's not going to be seen. Yeah. You do three back stitches. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I have a, sing a thing with three. <laughs> when it comes to sewing. I might only do two just because this thread is so thick mm. that it's just going to be chonky. Yeah, you don't have to do that. You can do them next to each other as well. You don't have to ah, necessarily okay. do them on top of each other. See, sometimes I, I don't know if this is cheating or not, but I'll do this. You can do is that. Is that like illegal? No. Okay. Sometimes what I also do is I make sure I go through the thread of the previous stitch. Oh, I was always told not to do that. Oh. Because then it weakens the thread. Well, or does it secure it? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is the problem with so much There's so taut many. sewing is that everyone's like, this is the right way and this is the incorrect way. That's why I said there are right. more road that leads to Rome. Right. So but like, there's no, like, make there's it your no own. reason that that's an incorrect way. Yeah. Just the, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to show and teach people the way I do it, and then by any means, make it your own. Yeah. So this is what I meant about starting the thread, is that it just, mm -hmm. then you just clip it, yeah. like, down here. That's fine. And then it disappears. <laughs> Yay! We have a hook. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you... Yeah. Hey, that won't go little. anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Huzzah. And then that's when you we, you don't have to do the the, the, the hook. I won't torture you with that. But then because that then, so what, bad. Once I've sewn on the the hook, then I place my waistband or whatever it is to where it needs to close, and then I hook this one on. Mm -hmm. So I know where about needs to go, and then hook it, and I just hold it. With this one's a little tricky because it goes up. It has right. a little curve, so it's hard. It's not flat. So then I just hold it, 
and I do basically the same what we did with them, and I just do one here and one there as well. Okay. So I don't do it here. Oh, right, because it's up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it just on the, I won't touch that part. Yeah, that makes sense. And that should be really secure. Cool. So I hope this might convince you to try it <laughs> to yeah. use. <laughs> I want to try and play with these skirt hooks a bit mm -hmm. because I'll, I'll leave you some. You can oh, play with them. Okay. I have I have gazillions of them. Well, not gazillions. Guess I have to make another skirt then. I think you do. Or two or three. How about a whole wardrobe? Yes, all of the skirts. Well, you've now convinced me on a pinstripe skirt, so. <laughs> I don't think they can see it, but <laughs> there's pinstripes on here. <laughs> um, so yeah, cool. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you you. I'm glad I could help you out a little bit and maybe take the horror away a bit. I hope so. It's actually what I find with closures is it's not. It's really not so torturous a process. It's just that when you reach the end of your project and you just want it to be done, mm -hmm. and like in theory you can just safety pin it together and wear it, so like it's done enough. And I'm always like, I'll just safety pin it and wear it out today. And then it I take never, it off and I put it, it in my wardrobe. Happens. And then it just never <laughs> happens. So it's not that like, I mean, I do hate buttonholes. Mm. I, 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 I don't do hand buttonholes. But oh. I do uh, buttonholes. Yeah. But I do have to say, though, having good thread helps because it does make it more of a nightmare when you have a twisting thread. Yes. I might try waxing this. And that's what a lot of historically what was done with buttonhole mm -hmm. yeah. when you're when sewing buttonholes, probably why they were waxing their buttonholes with because it's an absolute nightmare on its own. So yeah. I will probably experiment with that. Yeah, I, I've said it on my channel. The thread that I use is not being made anymore. Um, well, it's being made anymore, but in a different. Uh, it's twisted differently, mm. which make it twisted even more. But the ones that I have the ones that are not being made anymore, are, don't twist at all. Well, oh. not as much as, as that. But if you put your finger on it, when you pull it through, then you can just go done. Huh, okay. Yeah, because this would have been a lot faster without all of the untwisting. Yeah, yeah. And maybe, if, I'm, if I may be bold, a, a shorter needle might also help. Yes. Because the closer you are uh, towards the, the, the tip, the more control you have over the placement than when you are yeah, like right here. Yeah. But that's also personal preference. Like oh I no, said, I there's prefer no shorter one needles way. as well, but I only had this or number right. 10 and th this wouldn't go through number 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I guess we're um, using a basting needle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be <Yeah>. like me. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, I hope. Cool. Thank Thanks you so. for the closure encouragement. <laughs> did, 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 did we brought closure to your... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you brought closure to my life. <laughs> well, thank you for threading to mine. <laughs> you are very welcome. <laughs> um, and I hope this won't be the last time we'll be able to hang out. Yeah, of course it won't be. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna finish the video as you're? Yeah, as since me? I'm with Nikki Leo. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that, <laughs> wait, smash that like button and hit the subscribe and ring that notification <laughs> bell so that you can be informed every time that I upload a new video. And you upload a new video, yeah. 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 So, yeah, that, what she said. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Before we get started on today's video, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. Wait, am I supposed to be doing anything else? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on this video, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe and ring the notification bell. Excuse me, what are you doing here? This is my channel. What do you mean? I am Nick. Wait, I, wait, I didn't introduce myself as Nikki. <laughs> Let's get so in. <laughs> I, every Excuse me, what are you doing here? This is my channel. What do you mean this is your channel? It's clearly my channel. I introduced myself as Nikki Liam. But I'm Nikki the Yam. But I've just introduced myself as Nikki Liam. <laughs> but but I am Nikki the Yam. So what are you doing on do my you, channel? Do you have identification? Uh, do you have identification? I do. You want to see it? Yes, please. <laughs>
<laughs> I just dug myself into a hole. <laughs> All right, cool. What, what are we doing today? I don't know. What, wait, what, what are we doing today? <laughs> You're doing a perfect job of impersonating me, though. <laughs> Please don't ask me to speak Dutch. <laughs> this is the hard... Yep. Smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Get out of this now. Unless we keep this in. Now I've revealed all your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> You've just broken your thread again. <laughs> Watch Nikki thread a machine for 15 minutes. <laughs> Get out of your light. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please get out of a light moment? <laughs> Not helping. <laughs> We're filming ourselves. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Do with that what you will.